Fest, a two-day festival near Tucson, Arizona, sponsored by two local radio stations. The stars included Jellyfish, Sisters of Mercy, Driving and Cryin', Material Issue, and Havana 3 AM, the new band led by former Clash bassist Paul Simonon. Here's Dave Kendall of MTV's 120 Minutes to tell us how it went. Festivals love it. Love them. It's a special time, you know, when everybody's together for music. The variety is the spice of life. birthday bash number two comes at a time when some touring bands are reporting poor ticket sales but with admission just eight dollars per night and a diverse lineup Arizonans have shown up in force I like the people all the people that like to dress in black because they think it's cool we live here, we're used to the heat. It's nothing. They got everything here, chicken sandwich, <laughs> go-karts, swimming, water slides. I'm, I'm moving here today, tomorrow. <laughs> the gear tonight and just turn it all the way up <coughs> it worked out we don't really like festivals because we don't really have the, the time to set all the equipment on stage and to be really efficient but it's a good uh, contest <laughs> are good because they, they prove that people will slam dance to anything, even ballads. <laughs> it was uh, pr pretty wild tonight. They dance funny here, don't they? It's the weather, man. That sun yeah. in their brain, man. They get all heated up, you know, they got to let it out somewhere. Change your mind, rat shot. Please, change your mind, rat shot. and shoes on stage. I got a Doc Martin thrown at me. <laughs> Almost hit me in the head. I didn't see any shoes. Thank God because they probably had bad smelling feet. It was better than his good cheese blintzes. It was like going to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. We came, we conquered, we did what we had to do. biggest ever alternative rock festivals and for many people here at the Q Bash the question is why don't they do this more often?